Hello, everyone, and welcome to AMAT 301 ECHO 351 Summer Session 2003. Um, so in this welcoming video, I'm just going to go over what the course is going to be like, uh, just uh, what to expect, where everything is, and so on and so forth. So in a nutshell, this is a course that basically uh, trains you to pass um, the SOA, uh, Society of Actuaries, CAS, um, uh, exam, FM, um, uh, exam, right? So, um, yeah, let me go over the syllabus. So, uh, first of all, the syllabus uh, is right here uh, under home. So, this is the view you should be uh, having yourselves when you go to Brightspace. I'm on student uh, learner view right now, student view. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll just go over the um, syllabus real quick. Right. So the prerequisite is calculus two. Um, definitely let me know if you do not have if you haven't taken calculus two. Uh, this course will probably be rough sailing if you haven't. Um, so yeah, and I, I really don't. Uh, have the time to tutor people on very basic calculus. We're not going to need anything too crazy from Calc 2, but uh, still, if you've never seen integrals or derivatives, uh, it's not the place for me to tutor you on that. So, um, all right. So, the lectures are going to uh, just come from following link uh, to a YouTube playlist that uh, our uh, videos that I've made myself. Um, and yeah, I'll tell you when to watch which uh, video. All right. Uh, and um, I'll go over this uh, more in a minute, but in each module, I'll put what video to watch and, and a link to that. Uh, there's also going to be the PowerPoints corresponding to um, what's in the video uh, in the modules. Uh, so this is uh, my information. Uh, this is my email. My name is uh, Joshua Zralowitz, Dr. Joshua Zralowitz. You can just call me Mr. Zralowitz. Uh, I'll be available to meet on Zoom uh, for office hours. And uh, it's generally going to be uh, 12 to 1. On Tuesday, June 20th, I do have a meeting. Uh, at 12, so I'll uh, be available um, two to three instead. Okay. So the text is uh, Sam Broberman, Mathematics of Investment and Credit. I, very, I really don't use it. Uh, some of the uncollected homework is taken from the book, but otherwise I, I don't really use it. I don't really like it, and I don't frankly know of a good textbook to use. Um, so that's why I made my YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, so you definitely don't need the book. Um, it's not horrible. It's just very wordy. So uh, you can probably find a cheap old edition of it. If you'd like to get it, by all means, get it. Um, but you don't need it. Everything is on the YouTube videos. Okay. Um, yeah. So the, and I should mention, this is one of the books the Society of Actuaries recommends for uh, partial preparation of uh, the exam FM. I'll talk more about that in a minute and how this course precisely relates to exam FM. Uh, so homework, there's gonna be uncollected and collected homework. Um, I'll have a schedule, I'll go to that in a minute. Uh, of when each collected homework is due, you will just upload it through Brightspace uh, as a single PDF. Um, and um, I'll give you plenty of hints for the collected homework. Uncollected homework is just that, not gonna be collected. I will uh, give solutions to the uncollected homework. And once uh, the collected homework is due, I'll give you um, solutions. So you don't have to print out the collected homework and write there, write on that. You can just write on scrap paper and then scan it. 
Uh, I absolutely love cam scanner uh, for my phone. Uh, it's uh, really excellent. It, it turns your phone into a pretty good scanner, actually. Uh, I've been using this for years, cam scanner. I personally love it. So there's going to be three exams, and practically they're just going to be um, uh, essentially assignments that combine a lot of different things together. Um, so I'll go through the summer schedule in a second, but I'll be uh, posting them at noon at the scheduled um, time on the summer schedule. That's going to be uh, a Friday. And you'll have until Sunday night to basically do it. So you got plenty of time to do it. OK, so the topics, um, uh, basically uh, just standard financial math stuff, compound simple interest, force of interest, present, future value, annuities, loans, uh, bonds, stuff like that, net present value, yield curves. Um, so there's one topic uh, that I do cover in the regular semester, just not enough time in summer, and that is immunization. And uh, I will have a um, video, there is a video rather uh, on immunization. So the um, playlist, uh, that I uh, showed you a second ago is very complete for uh, exam FM topics. Um, so the material, the homework, and everything is basically broken into 11 modules, roughly two a week, uh, excluding the last week, um, because you have homework and a third exam due. Okay. Grading is going to be three exams, 55%, and the homework's 45%. Um, the, uh, this is the numerical, numerical, excuse me, score to grade correspondence. I'm looking to see if I have my financial calculator here. I should have it. I'm just going to look in a second. Don't. Uh, I guess I don't. So yeah, that's um, so you will need the financial calculator roughly halfway into the course. Um, I highly, highly suggest the TI Texas Instruments BA two plus, uh, for the simple reason that it is allowable on the um exam FM. I will go over in full, bloody, gory detail on how to use the calculator and you know, in particular, how to use it to pass the exam. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go over any other financial calculator. In the past, I've kind of caved in and did. Uh, probably not this time, I'm just going to say, no, you get another financial calculator. Fine, you're on your own. Um, this calculator is like 30 bucks, so just, just buy it. Um, and I do want to emphasize that if you are taking exam FM, you have to, have to, have to buy this calculator and learn to use it. I really don't think you can pass exam FM without it, um, mainly for the time constraints. It's just, well, not just that, but it's, it's everything's very, this course is going to be very computational, so you, you need to just do computations with the calculator, right? Uh, but it has a lot of uh, very relevant financial functions that we'll talk about and use. Okay, uh, last but not least, um, as I mentioned, this course is gonna cover all the topics on exam FM with the exception of immunization, okay? Just for time reasons. So uh, I would say um, the problems assigned on homework and tests are going to be uh, slightly easier than those on exam FM. The harder ones are going to be definitely on par with the average exam FM problem difficulty. And I can say that with um, uh, a lot of confidence because I just took exam FM uh, two weeks ago and um, yeah, I passed. So. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, if you get an A in this course, then you are absolutely in good shape 
to uh, start really just cranking out problems uh, and taking practice exams, maybe for like two or three weeks. Um, and uh, so I do recommend coaching actuaries. Uh, this is not on a syllabus, but um, yeah, if you really, if you get an A in this course and you understand basically everything that you've done, uh, I would recommend going to coaching actuaries. Uh, and getting their uh, ADAPT. Uh, so it should actually log me straight in because it's what I used. Bear with me a second. Um, yeah, so the idea of ADAPT, uh, and you can go to the website and, and just take a look uh, at ADAPT. It's basically just uh, quizzes, and you can build custom exams. You can, uh, or, sorry, you can build custom exams, but you can just take exams that are similar to the uh, uh, actuary exam FM. Uh, they're actually very similar. Um, it's a little unfair, I think, to people who maybe don't want to shell out the money to get something like this. It's about a hundred bucks, so it's really not that expensive considering. Uh, the exam FM is I think, 250 bucks and you fail it, you just have to repay the fee. So I uh, highly, highly, highly recommend ADAPT. Um, you can build uh, little quizzes, five problem, 10 problem, whatever quizzes based on exam FM level um, uh, problems and kind of see where you're weak, where you're strong. Uh, you can take exams that they they really look exactly like you would get on um, exam FM, like when you're actually sitting your butt down there on a computer, so. Um, all right, enough of that. So the schedule is up here. Um, yeah, so the, the homework, uncollected homework problems, uh, it's in the modules, but I still have it here. Um, so it's just uh, roughly a uh, schedule for the whole course. I'll put up really all the modules uh, next few days. No reason not to for anyone who wants to um, get ahead. And if you really want to uh, submit homework early, um, then uh, you'll send me an email if you really want to submit homework early. Um, I'd probably prefer not. Uh, but uh, yeah, just send me an email if you really are kind of bored in this course and want to really, really, really get ahead. We will go fast in this course, though. Understand that this is going to be fast paced covering everything. Um, so, yeah, on June 30th, I'll put up the first exam. That's that Friday, and it'll be due Sunday night. Um, that'll be based on modules one through three, so it's homeworks one, two, and three. Um, then exam two will be uh, put up on July 14th. Again, that's the Friday, do uh, Sunday. And the last exam will be cumulative. It'll cover uh, homeworks eight, nine, 10, 11. Exam two will cover homeworks four, five, six, and seven. That's gonna be uh, put up on the 28th, and it'll be due um, either Sunday or Monday. I think last time I gave people until Monday night to finish it, but um, yeah. So I added these two modules from last time. Uh, I have to make some homework for them, but I'll probably do that in the next few days. Um, but. And the homework will actually be due at the end of the day that I uh, have here. So in particular, like homework two is due um, on Friday night. So you see, sorry, homework one, homework one. So you see homework one uh, is due 23rd. Homework two will be due the 27th, that Friday night. Uh, June, uh, sorry, Friday, that Tuesday, 
Uh, the next homework will be due uh, the Friday night, June 30th. Uh, but um, yeah, always for each uh, module, these dates here, uh, the end date is, is going to be when the homework is due. Um, yeah, so just some notes that I'm, uh, I mentioned. Um, yeah, so I think it covered everything here. Let's go back. I'll show you what a module looks like. So I have module one up. So here are the uh, PowerPoints, the links to the lecture video. So this is the first lecture video on YouTube. Um, so let's go back. Um, so some homework quizzes will use um, or involve old uh, quizzes when I used to give quizzes back in the regular semester. So that's why I have, for example, spring 2021 quiz one. Um, one of the homeworks is going to be similar to that. So watch that video uh, for um, hints. This is a PDF of the uncollected homework. This is the problems. This photo, uh, photograph from uh, Groverman. Ignore the, the handwriting. And here are solutions to this uncollected homework. So I should say the collected homework will be much more similar to uh, exam FM problems than the uncollected homework. Um, but the uncollected homework uh, is still good review, uh, good um, uh, just good good practice. The uncollected homework is sometimes going to be sometimes a little easier than the collected homework. Sometimes it's going to be more convoluted because it's taken directly from the textbook. Uh, but it's, um, anyway, so. And yeah, so what these pro uncollected, uh, so what the uncollected homework problems are also as, a, as we went through in the, um, uh, the schedule, but it's here with hints. And here are hints for the collected homework. So for example, uh, for problem number four, uh, this is similar to uh, problem two in the spring 2021 quiz one. So you know, we'll go, go over here, um, and look at that uh, problem two. This is my, uh, I haven't had a haircut in many, many months during COVID look. Um, yeah, I would say even the problems were, um, for the, the quiz problems, the ones that don't directly correspond to a collected, uh, homework are still good to look at. There, there's good extra, uh, example, uh, extra examples to look at. So all the quizzes are here. And last but not least, uh, so was home. The uh, actual assignments are going to be right here, work to do. So unfortunately, it doesn't let me go for some bizarre reason here. Uh, but you would basically click on this, and then you would submit your one single PDF. Okay? So do not uh, send me uh, five pictures or three pictures. I want one single PDF. Again, use CAM scanner um, to scan it or use whatever to scan it. If you use something to scan it and it gives you pictures, uh, all you have to do is Google JPEG to PDF. Uh, what I like to use is, uh, where is it? Uh, JPEG to PDF. First thing that actually came up. I've been using this for a long time now. Uh, it's fantastic. It's free. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So no, no reason not to submit one single PDF. It's just with twenty students in this class. If I get 
multiple uh, JPEGs from everybody. It's just a mess. Um, uh, yeah. Um, any questions, just send me an email. Remember, the email is in the uh, syllabus. Uh, and um, yeah, if you want to get ahead uh, in the next few days, I will put up uh, more modules. So, um, or just watch the videos if you want to get ahead, really. Watch the videos and, and really understand the examples that I do in the videos. Redo the examples in the video. I think that's uh, very good to do. Um, and again, uh, I'll make an announcement to everybody, but again, I will not have office hours at noon. It will be at two o'clock tomorrow, uh, right here on Zoom. Um, yeah, so so long, take care. Um, I'll probably talk to many of you through email or office hours. Um, uh, and one last thing. Uh, so I had a student in spring who did this and uh, not a bad idea to do it, honestly. They uh, got coaching actuaries adept, adapt, and they were doing uh, via the quizzes uh, problems uh, as we go along. So you can build custom quizzes based on um, you know all the stuff we're doing. So we're going to start off with time value of money. That's roughly exam one. Annuities and loans is going to be roughly exam two. Bonds, uh, cash flows and portfolios is exam three, as I mentioned. No time for immunization. Um, but yeah, as we go along, you can create quizzes, and I'd be more than happy to go over um, uh, solutions to that. Um, the solutions given on ADAPT are sometimes a little weird. Um, I, I think I can explain what they do better, uh, honestly. Um, but um, yeah, and even when this course is over, if you uh, would like to do uh, sample problems from here or uh, sample exams and you're really confused as to the uh, uh, solution there that they give you, by all means, I'd be happy to help you out after the six week course is over. Um, I, I really hope people take from this course and use it to uh, help pass exam at that. Um, that's really the point and it'll make, make me feel like I've done my job. All right, so long, take care, bye-bye. Uh,